Hey to all my beauties out there. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then welcome to my channel. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. And don't forget to like, comment, and share my videos. Now today I'll be showing you guys a highly requested video for a baby hair tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I cut and style my baby hairs using the black gel from the got to be brand. So I hope you guys are ready to learn how to soup your baby hairs. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. When it comes to styling the baby hairs for each client, I just pretty much go with the flow depending on the style that they are choosing and also like if the hair is colored or not. But in this tutorial, I will be showing you baby hair styled on natural black hair, but I will add just a few videos towards the end of, you know, different styles of baby hair that I also created. Now, the key to achieving the most natural uh, baby hairs is making sure that you cut that hair uh, that you are using to swoop down to about an inch or less. And for this specific section of this video, I did cut the baby hairs to about an inch. But in the next clip, I will show you when I cut them actually shorter. And also, um, I will show you guys how I create my exotic baby hairs, which will be the last clip in this video. But however, um, right now I am just taking that got to be gel and you want to create some nice uh, C motions. And once you create those C motions, you do want to use your edge brush or comb and also your finger to really push the hair in the direction that you want it to fall. And when it comes to doing the nice curved sideburn baby hairs, you do want to cut the hair just a little bit longer on the sideburns. That way you can create the little loop towards the end. And when it comes to blending those baby hairs into whatever style you are doing, for example, as you guys can see, this is a double knotted look. I do have to swoop that hair into uh, the rest of that Bantu knot, but if it is not blending to your perfection, you just could go ahead and just clip that right off, smooth the rest in, and blow dry it or just let it air dry on its own and then just move right along. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I cut the hair shorter and this style of baby hair is just more of like a regular baby hair look. With the first clip I pretty much just showed you how to do the little swoop on the end and you know just the more dramatic looking baby hairs. They were a little bit bigger um, to give off that dramatic look but um, in this clip we're just going to keep it cute and simple and of course I'm showing you how to use uh, the rat tail comb to do the baby hair. And you want to make sure it is a rat tail comb with very, very small teeth, a very uh, close together um, rat tail comb, um, you know, that way you can really get the uh, gel inside of those hairs and just swoop everything regular. And you just want to move as quickly as possible because the gel can dry quickly. But once you get it all swooped, you can blow dry it afterwards or you can blow dry it um as you are actually creating the baby hairs. Now in this last clip, I am showing you my most popular and my beauty's favorite look, which is my exotic baby hairs. And I am using my brand new item from my brand, which is called the Lace Glider, which is a razor on one end and a rat tail comb on the other. And I'm going to show you how I, recre um, how I create my dramatic exotic baby hairs. And first things first, I'm just gonna cut just a little bit so I can work on the first baby hair in the center, which uh, is like the swimming, wavy, kind of like a seahorse tail baby hair. And I just cut those hair a little shorter than an inch because it's actually easier to swoop everything when the hair was actually cut less than an inch. 
and that way you can just swoop everything in a C direction going forward and then you're gonna swoop it in the opposite the opposite sorry guys the opposite direction um with the edge brush and you can also just take like the end of the rat tail comb and just really sharpen that end and make sure all of the hairs are together and are in place now another thing i like to do if you do happen to get you know straggly hairs or hairs that's just don't need to be there or in the way i just sometimes take my uh, tweezers and i just pull those hairs out now um after i created the seahorse um, tail baby hair I just went ahead and did a regular swoop and now I'm gonna create uh, that boomerang baby hair and you just want to cut it once again guys less than an inch and you just want to make a C motion you just want all the hair to be smooth together um, and the end to be kind of pointy and you want to um, hook that and either direction is up to you but just swoop it and make sure all of the hairs are together there are no extra hairs flying around everything is swooped together and that's why i'm using that edge brush and that comb you know the rat tail end of that comb to get everything you know blended and close together and swooped to perfection Now, usually when I do my exotic baby hair, the symmetry of the hairline is very, very important to me. So I always like to do that horseshoe baby hair towards the center, if it's a middle part, and I make sure that the baby hairs match on both sides. So I would do the same exact style of the baby hair on both sides, just, you know, swooping it in the opposite direction. So um, after I did that horseshoe, I did the regular baby hair. Then I'm going to go in with the boomerang baby hair and then do the original swoop and then that curved sideburn. So I do, as I mentioned, like to make sure that if I'm doing a center part, the baby hairs are very symmetrical. So um, just stay tuned to this video and watch how I continue to just swoop um, the baby hairs in the opposite direction. And as I mentioned previously, once I have everything swooped, and if I see any little hairs that's just out in a way, I just pull them out. And if I can't pull them out, I go in with my tweezers and I just pluck those little uh, random hairs out. But here was the complete look of her baby hair hairline. And I let that baby hair dry and I used the blow dryer on the heat setting. And I'm just spraying a little oil sheen um, so it doesn't have like a you know cracky look towards the end but here was also a few more videos of baby hairs that i have done um, on some of my tutorials and installations i hope you guys found this video very helpful thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and share love you guys bye